Hey there guys, a uh, long time no hear, no see. Um, I've moved into a new place. I'll give you a little tour of this maybe after this video, but I'll tell you now it's been really stressful. Um, these last few months have been quite a, quite a toll on me. Um, but even after everything today, um, I wanna start my channel um, off again. It's absolutely peeing it down in rain, as expected. I'm in the UK, what do you expect? I'm in the Midlands. Um, but even though I don't have a cooker or anything in here, I have now got this. I've got a microwave and I've got a grill. I'll show that maybe a bit later. But this has been delivered today and I'm so happy that it's come today because I've not been eating very well. And the reason why I've not been eating very well is because when I'm under stress, I, I find it hard. Uh, I find it hard to eat. And when I've just been eating from a microwave and a, a grill, I'm, I'm not the world's greatest cook or anything. In fact, you know, I really don't like cooking. But I've decided I want to make changes. I mean, this new place, this is mine. The place I was in before was a rented, private rented accommodation. Uh, it's bigger than this place. Uh, it had two, two bedrooms, uh, which meant I had my own bedroom and plus I had my little workshop space. And, uh, but this is mine. This is where I can die. Uh, this is where I can actually do the decorating and feel happy. I can carpet it out nice on my carpets and, you know, feel happy. I can, I can do this place up. It's not perfect. It's not great. It's a cheap place, but it's mine. So let me just see if I can get this box out of this box without. Ah. This is a bit bigger than what I thought. Maybe there's um, some polystyrene in here, maybe. Cook up to 30% faster with 99% faster with less oils. This little baby is uh, he's cooking the dinner today. I have a fresh chicken on the side there. I've just been taken out of the fridge. And that's gonna be the guinea pig, uh, guinea pig dinner. So we get to see what can be like. I do realise that this is probably a bit big for one person, but um, oh, okay. So I'm gonna have to shake this out of the box as well. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh, right, let me just. We've got 18 cooking presets. I'll tell you uh, what's what as soon as I get this out of the box. I just want to try and use me. All right, well, they fitted that rather well, haven't they? Yeah. It maybe have to be one of these jaws of life thing, but without jaws of life. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. Right. It wasn't really, it's not a, I mean, it all depends on what your finances are, I suppose. To me, it's not cheap, it's 200 pounds. Um, what would that be in dollars these days? Probably close to $200 as our pound is devaluing. I think the dollar's on the rise, especially compared to some of the currencies. Right, let's just get that. Uh, I think in the bottom there was the tray and stuff, but don't worry, nothing uh, nothing that can be damaged. There's the plug. Let me just pull that off then. Throw it back there. Uh, okay, well it is a bit bigger, but then that doesn't matter. I mean, it's no bigger than a normal size of an oven. But this is more than just the normal oven. And it actually looks better now than it did in the description because in the description, this was all lit up and I thought that that was just how it looked on the screen. And maybe that's backlit, but look, you can see nothing. So I can't wait. Oh, that feels nice, the old job done. There's a bit of a dent here, which uh, um, I, shall, uh, I shall show you just because this is 
good for a bit of video evidence. See the dent there, the crease? Yeah, a bit of a dink there. Uh, pretty sure that should be okay. But yeah, so what, you know, already there's a little bit of a dink, but uh, you know, sometimes you have to learn to live with something. So let me just pull that back a little bit like that. All righty, oh. So just for the moment, this is where this thing's gonna live because I need it to be where I can extract, you know, whatever fumes come out of it, whatever uh, steam or whatever comes out of it. So, like I was saying, let me just, let me just get the other components out of this box. I'll put those there. And then, uh, and then we can just look at the side of the box oh, where it says, yeah, this is the bit we want. So, so that's what it looks like. You can see that? Yep, that's what it looks like. Preheat, warm, roast, fry, rotisserie. Dehydrate, boil, bake, toast. 18 cooking presets. I'm not a very good cook. So to be able to have presets, to be able to do this. Digital touch screen. Ooh, it's a bit more lush than what I thought it was. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's, what we're, that's what we're unpacking. That's what we're getting out. Let's have a little look how this is gonna work. Oh, there was a bit of tape there holding that in. And a bit of tape there, but of course I've just pulled it open. Put it through the tape. Uh, how far does that go back? That's nice, that fits almost against the wall. So when this opens, that can sit there or it can drop down to there. So that would be quite just about right for that to go there. So we've got a nice bit of cardboard there. I think this is a drip tray for like oils, fats. And uh, and so yeah, now I suppose but before I do anything else, I should probably just plug it in, right? And see if it actually functions before I uh, get too overexcited and start chucking a chicken in here. I don't really know how to do this. And I wonder if the, the wire, no, of course the wire is not going to be long enough. That's about right, isn't it? Isn't that about right? All right, well, We'll just have to do something about that, but just for the meantime, let's just pop that stuff on there and see if we can just move this down a little bit. Because my sockets, uh, so I've just got a couple of sockets there. The other sockets are over there, but I've got a microwave. I've got a little microwave and a little grill there, you see. Um, so the sockets are just there. So what we're going to do then is just try and push that down to there. And pull it out. Now, what do you get in the box? Of course you get that. That's not actually good enough to go there. I just want to switch it on. I want to see if I'm going to go any further with actually doing this. So let's just switch that off in case we get a, a bang. Wow. Alrighty. Oh, there's the power button. Look at this. I mean, can you see what I can see? Oh mm, yeah. Now, of course it's LED, so they're gonna be flashing at a time that's not gonna be in sync to this, uh, to this camera, but we can still zoom in a little bit, can we? Just get a bit of a better look at that. So yeah, let me just pull it back a little bit more. So that's what we got. It looks like it's automatically set it wants to do some air frying. Um, Yes, we've got temperature controls. Uh, we've got our temperature controls, we've got our timer. I think it goes up to three hours, the timer. I think it's for dehydrating doing. So here, like, you can do proofing. Uh, it says it's touch screen, but it doesn't look like it actually is unless this is. That is, so we don't want that to happen, do we? I just put the timer up one. If I can turn the timer down, this is for the minutes, up in minutes, lovely. Bit noisy on the old beeper, that's gonna be great hand, uh, handy when it's um, 
Oh, and we can use our job dial here to go peas, steak, cookies, well, hey. snacks, veggies, roast, toast, bake, you know, the whole lot. And okay, so that's, that puts it on to broil. Now I want to undo that. I just want to see if I can just turn it off because we don't want that doing anything. The light's not on inside anyway. I think it's just getting itself maybe wound up, ready to do the job. That could be the play button on. Yeah, and then off. Uh, dual cook. Yeah, then about that, so I'm gonna turn that off. It's buzzing away a little bit and I'm not quite sure whether that means it wants to do something or not, but, oh, you can turn the light on inside or even have it off. That's nice. Okay, and if I pull that down, nothing, nothing. Oh, that's, that's getting warm at the top a little bit. All right, so you've got these bar elements down here and there's some elements at the top. Maybe if I uh, just take you out of here a bit, put you back to there and uh, take this out here. So yeah, so in the box, uh, maybe I should do this separately actually. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. So in the box, you get your oven. Lovely, it's a lovely clean. Looks, looks lovely, it doesn't look like there's anything dodgy inside or you know, anything untoward. Um, yep, that looks nice. I, I just wish I knew how to stop this from, it's making a whirring noise. And I do believe, uh, maybe I'll just turn this down. Can I turn that down using that? I can. Nope. Uh, is that play? No. That's seven minutes. It goes straight from one to seven minutes. I'm not quite sure I understand the logic there. And I'm not quite sure I know how to turn it off. That says press the select. But I don't want to do that. I'd like to be able to select something else. But I will probably have to do uh, the uh, RTFM, won't it? Come on, RTFM, we all, we all gonna know what that means, but I don't want to swear on my child-friendly channel. <laughs> As you know, I don't really have that many people watching anyway. Uh, but that's because I'm not busy enough on there. So we get a nice sturdy, nice sturdy wrap there. I'm just gonna, that went to 18, 18 minutes by itself. I'm not coming because <laughs> I'm not really sure how to do this. So this is for the rotisserie. This is, uh, yeah, so this is for the rotisserie. So I, I put these in, in the little uh, holders here where the motor must be and that's just the, uh, the, the, the it will sit on there. I'm presuming this end's gonna go into where the motor's gonna be in there to be turning this round. This is where I'll uh, I'll put the chicken on here, and uh, and then put this on the other side to make sure it stays in place. And that will fit inside there, and it will turn round quite beautifully. That's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, and this is to get it out once you're done, so you don't burn your hands, and you got your chicken in there. With this, they got some nice little grooves in there, so that's quite nice. That's just not going to fall off so easy. Uh, well, that's nice, that is nice. Now, I did see in the comments that people were saying that this, these things are not dishwasher safe. It's like a, a little sucky thing there, and what looks like two sort of screw in, but on purpose for you to do with your fingers. Things. I'm not sure what they're for. I'll have to look into that. There is the manual, so I can read the uh, manual. And I shall do that, I'm just showing you what we got in here. I am very excited. Oh, the suction cup, straight away to the suction cup. That is something to do with uh, pulling something off the back of the door. Right, so this, I believe, so you can take this glass out and then you put the suction cup on. You undo this here so you can take the glass out, everything out for cleaning. And then, uh, because it's showing the instructions, glass window for cleaning, so you get a suction cup so you can help pull it up. Brilliant, rather you're trying to get something down there to get out. So straight away we find out what the suction cups are. Well, that's brilliant. Uh, yes, I'm gonna have to go through all this power on, you know, the dual cook and find out what all these things are for, but that'll be in 
maybe when I uh, when I actually get round. Always oh, nice to see that you can actually change the bulb as well. I did just see something there with the bulb, but made it look like it was going to be fairly easy to change that. Oh, maybe it's back here. Here it is. Yes. So uh, anti-clockwise, change the bulb. Little uh, little standardy types bulbs. Do it back up again. Beautiful 25 watt halogen bulb it is. So automatically now I'm using 25 watts for that. So we'll have that off. Turn off. <laughs> 25 watts of power. Um, all right. So uh, yeah. So there's a, there's a whole bunch to do it. And so I will go and digest this. Read and digest because I do want to be able to do this properly. Oh wow. That's, and it gives you instructions for what temperatures to put things on, which is exactly what I need. I'd never known how to cook a steak, you know. All the steaks I've tried cooking that have always come out a little bit tough on the toaster over there, on the grill. And I think that's because I didn't have it high enough. So it was taking too long to cook. That's probably why it was a bit tough because that says 230 degrees for, and wings, 230 degrees, 230 degrees steak. I'm not a very good cook. I, I admit it. I, I'm a lazy man that used to have a lady in my life until she passed on. And she was a great cook, meant, 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 which meant I didn't have to cook anything. And so I never really learned. Um, but of course, she's not here now. And I've just been living out of an oven, just chucking everything in an oven tray, loving it in the oven 35, 40 minutes, and then just eating it. Uh, right, and a whole bunch of safety instructions. So that's great. We got a, uh, we got a fry tray. A fry tray, and I presume these are just going to slide in beautifully for the old air fryer. Now I can cook a chicken in that as well. And I believe this is like a roasting, a roasting tray. All of these things I will wash. Um, Cause I expect there may be something on there from the factory, wherever, you know. So I will wash all these things, just you know, rinse them off with a bit of uh, water or a bit of a uh, mild detergent. There's a little, little summit there. Um, so that's another good reason to give a bit of wash. I don't know whether this would go underneath this sort of thing. So when you're cooking, it's going to drip down in there or because in the pictures, it sort of shows, it sort of shows uh, vegetables and things in this and, you know, people put wings in here. You can eat, oh, this is opening up a whole new world for me. It's a new world for me. This is, and, uh, Oh, that's nice. After a little while, the light goes out. Very thoughtful, saving a bit of energy. And there's a little thing there on the door as well. And I suppose if I take this off now, the light's going to come back on again. And then it's on a timer to go off for a short period of time, which is fantastic. I don't know what these, um, that means that's the fan and everything on there. I did see one person say it's just an oven. Excuse me. Um, it's just an oven, but it's not just an oven. It's an oven with 18 presets for those who can't cook to be able to put things in there and cook. I thought at one stage as well, it was going to be too big. But no, the overall oven is a bit bigger, but that's good because it's got some stuff in there to do the work. But the actual oven size in here, uh, it was indicated that I can put a 1.8 kilo chicken in here and cook it in an hour. In one hour, I mean, that's saving, uh, it's normally about an hour and 45 minutes in an oven for something like that. So that's saving time, that's saving energy. This is 1800 watts, so it's not like um, a big oven, which may be you know, three, four kilowatts. Uh, there are other ones that uh, are, uh, are, um, are higher um, in power, but this isn't like that. So it's a nice compact little unit. And I've got a funny feeling if I wanted to, because I don't actually have a cooker, I could probably find a carcass or something and actually fit this in. Making sure, of course, I give plenty of space for ventilation. Uh, but for now, it's going to be a countertop oven. And I'm very, very pleased with what I see so far. It feels nice. It is plastic on the outside here. This is metal. Um, that's just lovely. It's just a very uh, slight touch. You do it there, nothing. Oh yeah, okay, all right, just underneath as well. <laughs> yes, as soon as you literally do touch that, it does make a difference there. Uh, there is the old pull thing, but before I cook, maybe we'll do that together. But just for now, I'm gonna leave that on. Um, and I'm gonna get off the bits of sticky from around the edges here. But yes, so far, I'm very impressed. I'm gonna sort myself out now some power, set this up in such a way that I can start cooking. 
I may just put it over the other side at the minute because it's closer to the sockets and move those things out of the way, the microwave and the grill from over there. So, I should do a video very, very shortly on its cooking and setting it up for cook. But just for now, if you've watched this and you, you think you might be in the market for one of these, you know, I'm, 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 quite a, uh, I'm quite fussy on things. If the things are a little bit funny, you know, I, I will point it out. And I quite like it. Now, I'm not obviously being paid for anything like this. I've paid for this myself. I need, I need to be able to cook food and it not just come out of a grill in a microwave. Because when, well, after a little while, after like five weeks it's been now, um, I can't stand the, the, the microwave food anymore particularly. And, um, and I'm getting a bit cheesed off. We've not been able to cook very well on the grill, but the grill has opened up another, another way of life for me as well. It opens up 180 degrees. There's a whole bunch of good things about that grill. I should probably do a little video on that. But here we are. So, hi guys, I'm back. And we're going to start doing some vlogging like this as well. If you got this far, thank you very much. Um, find this helpful. Someone gets a thumbs up if you want to. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.